do you have this in your life? Is that annoying door check? All right, so it's this piece here. There's like a little metal ring on the inside, and then the outside of it's this plastic sort of housing, which has a crack on it. So every time that that shifts and rotates, we get that noise. So what I've got is a new one. It's a new door check, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this stuff out here. Uh, this whole panel has to come off. I think there's a couple screws. There's one here. I think you gotta pop this little panel out behind here. There's a screw in here. I think this piece has to pop up. This piece will pop out. And then you've gotta unscrew your speaker to get back up into, into here. And uh, there's some clips essentially that are holding this here. And I think this is on like a hook pattern to where this kind of sets on top of there. And I think there are like two clips I think you can just stick your fingers under here and then pop this whole piece out and then lift it up. But then you gotta be careful of your electronics that are um, connected for your handle or your, uh, for your windows. And then you've got uh, a little harness inside of here that you gotta disconnect, but we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, I believe these are a 10 millimeter bolt here. And then uh, there's two 10 millimeters on the back side of here. All right, so enough talking, I'm just gonna get right to it. Looks like there's a little Loctite on there. Alright, so we just got a Phillips head screw here. Alright, looks like another Phillips head. This just pops up, maybe. Yep, it just pops up. And then you just have to disconnect this uh, connector right here, but I can't do it with one hand I've got on the camera right now. All right, so I just kind of started at the bottom and uh, I've just got one of these little curved tools here. Kind of forget the name of it, but a little pry bar type of thing. But anyways, you can kind of see in here, there's a little clip. There's one of them. And then I believe just a little further up, there's one. But if you can get this popped out of this clip here and then get your fingers in there, I think we should be able to just rip, basically just pull this out from the bottom. This piece uh, on the top up here is supposed to pop out as well. Yep, it just pops right out and it should just hang here. I think I should be able to just lift this up now. Okay. And then right behind here, see if I can zoom right here you've got your handle and then your locks so I think these uh, wires should just kind of pop right out of here all right, we'll see if we can't get at least one angle of it but they're pretty simple so you just pull it from the back side and get it out of this clip and then just go forward with it and they just pop right out so just remember the green one goes on the bottom and then the white one goes up on the top and uh, looks like we might have just one more little harness that's connected down here. We need to disconnect for the light. And then this will pop off and then uh, we need to pull these uh, four bolts out of this speaker and then pop that speaker out and then we should be able to get access to this piece right here. All 
Yep, so then just unplug your speaker and then this should just pop right out. Just like that. And then now we should have access. There's the piece, there's the unit right there. So we're gonna go ahead and undo these couple of 10 millimeter nuts right behind here. And then uh, we'll just slide the new one in. Backside it a little easier, there we go. There's the old one. This is the new one. And this is just an aftermarket one. I found this for, um, I think like 12 or $13. It looks like it looks like it's the right size. So it should just slide right back up in here just as easy as it came out. Okay, easy as that. Now we'll just do everything in reverse. Let me just hang it. Easy as that. All right, well, that was it. Simple job. Oh yes, listen to that. That was definitely worth the $13 and 10 minutes of my time.